How do we keep our homes safe from airborne diseases? I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician and public health contributor for Forbes.com. I'm going to answer that question today. Now, you can literally get an airborne disease simply by breathing, like COVID-19. I know life is really unfair, but what happens is, is infected individuals can cough, sneeze, even talk, and those infected particles get released into the air, and then you can go ahead and breathe those particles, and then you get infected. Or those infected particles can land on surfaces, you then touch those surfaces, and then you unfortunately get infected. So how is it that we can protect our homes from these airborne diseases that continue to increase. I'm gonna share five tips that I think will be really helpful in protecting your homes from airborne diseases. Number one, improve your ventilation. So germs can last in the air for a really long time. And what do we mean by ventilation? Ventilation is all about movement. It's all about the movement of particles in, within, and outside a confined space like your home or a room. And how do we improve or maximize ventilation? It's really by opening doors, opening windows. What this does is this decreases the concentration of bad particles like viruses and allows them to leave your house or leave your room before it can infect you. It's literally as simple as that. So improving ventilation is a key step in keeping your home safe. Number two, consider investing in a high quality filter. Now, just like ventilation is all about the movement of particles, filtration is about trapping those particles in the air or removing those particles in the air. And many houses have centralized HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning that have a filter in place that can help remove particles. And a lot of them are governed by thermostats. You can turn the fan to on or auto. You must turn that fan to on. Because if it's on auto, that fan is running sporadically. But if it's on on, it's running continuously. And that means that filter is working continuously. Another thing you can do is you can purchase a high quality, a high efficiency HEPA filter, right? A high efficiency uh, portable filter. And it's really key, right? It, it can really go a long way in reducing particles. A lot of them say that they're greater than 99% effective in removing airborne particles. So definitely try to get it. You can literally buy them at Lowe's, Home Depot, even Walmart if you're lucky. Number three, use disinfectants, right? Use disinfectants. These are typically bleaching solutions or disinfectants that have been approved by the EPA. All these can do wonders in decreasing bad particles, bad viruses, in your households. Now, obviously use common sense, right? You don't wanna have these close to kids and you may wanna wear goggles and gloves before you use these disinfectants. Number four, stop touching yourself. I know that sounds really funny, right? But seriously, how many of us touch our mouth, our nose, our eyes? These are literally the easiest ways that you can infect yourself and get infected from an airborne disease, right? So it's always important to be consciously aware of where we're putting our hands and to maybe tell our loved ones to not touch our mouth, our nose, and our eyes, especially when viruses and bad diseases are going around. And finally, last but not least, wash your hands, right? This is something that we all learned in grade school, but how many of us really do it? And a lot of governing authorities tell us to wash our hands for 20 seconds. That's a really long time. I mean, I honestly don't wash my hands for 20 seconds. I'll wash it for like five or six seconds. But, you know, really taking the time to wash our hands for 20 seconds can really go a long way. And washing your hands has been proven scientifically to be the most effective way in warding off airborne diseases. So there you have it. Five tips on how to keep our homes safe from airborne diseases. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.